Today I wanted to talk about a game that recently came out of Steam Early Access called Ecotone. Or Ecotone? I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but it's a 2D puzzle platformer and the first game brought to us by the developer's Sunday Factory. I was perusing the Steam new releases in April and the game caught my eye with its cute yet oddly creepy art style. And now that it's out of early access with a fresh coat of polish on it, I reckon it's time for a review. On the wheel of chance that is Steam early access, we seem to have lucked out. Sunday Factory have taken fan recommendations with to heart with swift bug fixes. Currently there are no graphics options, which for a PC game will definitely turn some people off. A windowed mode is available by pressing Ctrl F, but at the time of recording the only way I found that out was by perusing the forums for the game. The options menus are also pretty sparse, with only a binary on-off for sound and music rather than a traditional slider. But key rebinding for mouse, keyboard and Xbox 360 controller is a welcome inclusion. A bare-bones options menu isn't a deal-breaker for me though, and I've really enjoyed my time playing through Ecoturn. The creepy cute art style bleeds into every part of every level, with formless tendrils with eyes on the end observing you from the set dressing, fluttering platform beasts, and obviously the dark hazardous bloated flies. The sound design is pretty on point as well, with varying level background music reinforcing the sombre atmosphere. For the modest price of just over a fiver, Ecotone is also pretty substantial. My first playthrough took me about three hours of play, granted I'm terrible at games, but still. There's 45 levels split over three worlds. For the most part, these levels ask you to navigate your little Easter Island shy guy dude around each area by running and jumping, finding three orbs to progress through to the next area with an option to perform some more challenging platforming in order to get a bonus mask pickup, which go towards unlocking a bonus epilogue chapter. So far, so standard. However, what I like most about Yucatone is how it changes up mechanics on each level throughout the game. Some of these changes are fairly subtle, like the things you collect being stars in the night sky at the end of the level, or the level only being revealed in occasional flashes of light. But often enough, the alterations totally change how you play the game, like the jump button reversing the gravity on a level, which is very reminiscent of a game that I refuse to try and say its name out loud. Or there are levels where the game briefly turns into a 2D runner where timing your jumps is key. This could easily be super confusing, but each level is prefaced with a little phrase that gives a clue as to what to do for the level, but for the most part the game is intuitive enough anyway. These clues stitch together to give the game what amounts to its story, which explores the invisible narrator's interpersonal relationships. Whilst the story more or less fits the sombre atmosphere of the game, I'm not sure it's executed fantastically. Plot arcs that seem to be building feel like they aren't resolved properly, though I suppose that sadly mirrors real life in many cases. Another problem is that sometimes the phrases have to be awkwardly worded in order to fit both the current level and fit itself into the wider narrative, which can be a bit jarring. Without going into spoiler territory, I found the ending the game goes with very surprising and confusing. I mean, I could just be being a moron here, but it made me feel like I had missed something in terms of the story that seemed to be being told throughout the game, and the bonus epilogue chapters didn't really help in that regard either even though they did deliver more of the offbeat platforming I'd been enjoying. Talking about whether a game is challenging or not is a great way to put my foot in my mouth, but here goes. Ecotone doesn't require the level of platforming skill and dexterity of, say, Super Meat Boy, but it's not exactly a cakewalk either. Mercifully, death in the game allows you to get back into the action quickly, which may not be unusual in challenging platformers these days, but it certainly still saves on the frustration. The difficulty curve throughout the game is a little strange. There are a couple of early levels where it's pretty easy to sabotage yourself early on, requiring a complete level restart. But beyond these early spikes, the difficulty curve is pretty smooth. So if you like platforming and enjoy the art style you've been seeing for most of this video, and the idea of a game changing up its mechanics from level to level interests you, you can find Ecotone on Steam Store now for £5.99 or your regional equivalent. Thanks for watching. If you like this review or found it informative, then feel free to press that like button or share the video around. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, you can press the subscribe button. I've also got a video game film review series where I reviewed the recent Ratchet and Clank film. If you managed to stick around to the end of this video, congratulations and bye bye.